In this video, we'll guide you through every step of how to integrate Google's Gemini Pro Vision API to a VoiceFlow chatbot. This is easy and accessible for anyone because the whole process requires no code. In the last video, we built a VoiceFlow chatbot embedded with Gemini Pro API, which has received almost 1,000 views in a couple of days. You can watch that video if you have not yet. Today's video will be based on that video. To start, let us quickly run the chatbot. We ask Gemini, who is the third president of the US? It shows the API call successful, and Gemini gave the answer, Thomas Jefferson. Wow! Let us end the conversation. We will extend this chat bot to include the Gemini ProVision API. Gemini ProVision model can recognize and process images, which is very useful. Let us take a quick look at the Gemini API block. We need to set the API request in the post status, and we need the URL to process the API call which includes our API key. We also put in the header section the content type and application, slash JSON. In the body section, we put the raw JSON include the user's question to send to Gemini. Finally, we capture the Gemini response with a variable, which stores the answer from Gemini and will be displayed to the user. The Gemini ProVision API will be very similar, and we will just need to do a little modification. For instance, in order for the ProVision to process images, we will need to input images in our API request. Now let us make a copy of this Gemini API block. We will extend the chat bot with the ProVision API. Let us paste it here. Like said previously, we will do a little modification on this API block. We will reuse most of the settings of the API block, such as the API key, the headers section, and the capture response can be left unchanged. We change the name of this API block to Gemini Vision API as this block will make API calls to the Gemini ProVision model, which can handle the image inputs. In order to understand how Gemini ProVision works, we will take a look at the model at Google AI Studio. We can change the model to the Gemini ProVision model. After that, we can see images shown on the window. This means this model can process image inputs, but we have a token limit shown here. This limit is smaller than that of the Pro model, which can handle text inquiry only. This limit can be reached very quickly. If we use API calls from the voice flow, we do not have this token limit as I have tested so far. Now let us click on the documentation to see the docs. On the menu on the left side, we click on the REST API button to see the parameters we will need for the ProVision model. On the documentation page, we scroll down until we see the text and image input. The user can ask Gemini questions related to images he enters. We can see the instructions how to use the Gemini ProVision model, and it shows the parameters we need in order to make API calls to the vision model. As we scroll down, we can see the image example provided by Google. Next, we will see the most important parameters. As we can see the contents, parts, and text are same as those of the Pro model. As shown here, we have new parameters for the vision model. This inline data is for the image input. It has MIME type, which is image slash JPEG, and the image data, which is in the base64 string format. If you are not familiar with it, base64 is a binary to text encoding scheme that converts binary data into an ASCII string format, which is usually URL safe. The next is the URL we need in order to make the API request to Gemini ProVision. Here we can see Gemini ProVision instead of Gemini Pro we used in the last video. The other parameters are same, such as the content type which is application slash JSON format. That is basically all the information we need in order to use the Gemini vision model. We will make modifications to include these parameters in our voice flow API block. Let us move back to our voice flow canvas. In the Gemini vision API block, we need to change the URL to include the Gemini pro vision by just adding vision on it. We highlight this part to show the correct model we will use. The rest part of the URL remains same including our API key and the headers section remains unchanged. In the body section, we need to put the parameters to include the image data. Let us go back to the Gemini's documentation page. As shown here, this highlighted part will go into the body section. Because we already have the text parameters in our API block, we only need the part of the image data. Let us select this part of data, including the curly braces, and make a copy. Now let us move back to the voice flow canvas. First, let us remove the white space. This will give us a better format, which makes it easier to read. Then, press the Enter key on the computer to make new lines, so that we can add the image data here. Now let us paste the data here, which we have copied from the doc page. 
Do not forget to put a comma here after the questions, curly brace bracket. Let us do a little cleanup and reformatting so that it looks better. Now we can send image data to the Gemini Vision model via this API block. Here we need to convert the JPEG image data to the base64 string data, and we will show you how to do it later. The last section is to capture the Gemini response and save the answer in a variable. As the data structure of the response is same as that of the Pro model, we will reuse this setting with no need of modification. I just forgot to say, for the image data, we will use a variable to save the image data, and we will put the image variable here. So, every time when the user enters the image data at the UI interface, the image data will be saved in the variable and sent to the Gemini Vision model via this API call. The Gemini Vision model will process the image data and return its answer to our chatbot. The next step is to add a text block on the canvas. We let the user to choose the Pro model or the Vision model by asking, which model do you want to use? We then add a buttons block and drop it under the text block. In the first button, we add Gemini Pro so that the user can choose this model if he clicks on this button. We then click on the Add button to add the second button. We enter Gemini Pro Vision so that the user can choose this model to process images. We connect the first button with the Pro Model API block and the second button with the Vision Model API block. We remove the link between the Capture block and the Pro Model API block. Then we connect the Capture block with the new text block. Until now the Vision API block has been connected and is able to accept the user's question. Next, we are going to add a text block to ask the user to input his image data, because the Vision model will accept both the text question and image data from the user. In the text block, we add please enter your image data. The following step is to add a capture block. We can drop it under the text block. I like this way because it looks more compact and tidy. In the capture block, we will capture the entire user reply, and we will save it to a variable by clicking on the Create New Variable button. Since I have already done so, I will just select the variable from the list and use it here. The variable is going to store the image data, so I have named it as IMG. We click on the variable and enter it here. This is the setting for this capture block, which can save the image data. Next, we need to connect this capture block with the Vision API block, so the image data can be sent to the Gemini Vision model. We then connect the second button to the text block, so the logic flow takes both the question and image data to the Vision API. So far, we have built the Vision API block to make API calls to Google Gemini Pro Vision model, which can analyze the image data and return the answer to the user. Let us click on the API block. Scroll down to the body section. After the data key, we select this part in between the quotation marks. Replace it with our variable IMG. Do not forget the two curly brace brackets. This gives our chat bot more flexibility. We do not have to change this part every time when the user inputs his image data. Instead, the variable can save the data and pass it to the Gemini Vision model. The last step is to connect the Vision API block to the answer block, so the response returned by Gemini can be displayed to the user. Until now we have finished building the chat bot and extended our previous chat bot to run both the Gemini Pro and Vision model APIs. Let us take a quick look. In the beginning, we ask the user, what is your question? We capture and save user's question in a variable. Then we let the user choose which model he is going to use. If the Pro Model button is clicked, the question will be sent to the Gemini Pro API block to make an API call and receive the response from the Gemini. The Gemini answer will finally be sent to the last text block and display to the user there. If the user clicks on the Gemini Vision button, the logic will flow to the text block and ask the user to input the image data. The image data will be captured and saved in a variable. Then both the question and image data will be sent to the Vision API block to make an API call and receive the response from Gemini. After analyzing the image data, Gemini will return the answer, which will be displayed to the user. As shown in the last video, the user can click on the Continue button to continue asking the next question, or he can click on the other button to end the conversation. Next, we are going to run the test of this chatbot. Before doing that, we will show you how to convert the image to a base64 string. Let us go to this website. There are many ways to get the base64 string data. But we have promised no code, so we will use this website to convert the image to the base64 string. What you need to do is paste the URL of the image and click the Encode Image button. Then copy the data, which will be shown down here. Let us see an example. I like surfing images. Let us just go to any website like this one, which has many surfing pictures. You have many options. 
they are very beautiful. Let me just select this one. Let me right click on the mouse, then click on the copy image address. Now we have the URL of the image. Let us go back to the website to convert the image to a base64 string. On this box, we paste the URL here and click the encode image button. Wait a while. Depending on the size of the image, we will wait for different time. After it finishes, we can see the image shown on the right side and the base64 string on this line. We can click on the copy button to make a copy of the data. Now we have the base64 data and we are going to start to test running our chatbot. Let us go back to the voice flow canvas and click the start button. The chatbot asks, what is your question? We are going to let Gemini tell us what is on the picture. So we reply with, what is this picture? Then we are asked to choose a model. We click on the vision model. Next, we will enter the image data. We paste the data and press the enter key on the computer. The question and data are sent to Gemini. After processing the data, Gemini returns the answer, which is, this is a picture of a surfer riding a wave. I would have to say this answer is pretty good and accurate. Wow! The Gemini has successfully analyzed the image data and returned the right answer. Let us click the continue button to ask the next question. This time I am going to ask Gemini to write a blog about how to make the food shown in the picture, which I will pass to Gemini. We will again choose the Gemini ProVision model. I have selected a cookie image. Let us go to this web page. Let me just copy the image address. Let us paste the URL on the box of this web page and click the encode image button to convert the image to base64 string. After it is done, we can see the image on the right, and we click the copy button to make a copy of the data. Let us go back to the chat bot. We paste the string data and press the enter key. The question and image data have been sent to Gemini, and Gemini returns the answer to us. It says giant chocolate chip cookie, and it lists the ingredients, also the instructions how to make the cookie in step-by-step -step base. It looks pretty good to me. Let us press the end conversation to stop here. In this video, we have extended our previous chat bot to include both the Gemini Pro and ProVision API blocks. The settings of the two API blocks are very similar, and we have built the Vision API block by making a little modification using the Pro block, so that the Vision API block can accept the image data. In this chat bot, the user can choose either the Pro model or the Vision model, depending on if he needs Gemini to process an image. Finally, the Gemini answer displays to the user. This is just a simple demo, and you can build a very complex chat bot based on your needs. If you like this video, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. If you have any comments and suggestions, please let us know. Thank you for your support.